I wake up, I'm like, I smell shit. What's good? What's poppin'? My name is Denzel Dion, and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, can you please stop it? I'm talking to my dog. So for this week's video, I'm going to be a story time that my dog shitted on a plane, and I almost got arrested. It happened on June 1st. Um, I had to fly to New York for some business thing. When I got my dog in March, I haven't traveled really since then. I mean, I have traveled, but like... My friends always watched it. I didn't feel like asking my friends to watch my dogs, and I do not trust the dog hotels in LA. I just feel like my dog is really cute, and I feel like so. I just felt like he was gonna be taken. That's what I felt like. So I didn't trust dog hotels. So I looked online, see how my dog can get on a plane, how much was that, you know? And um, I was flying with Delta, and it was like, if your dog is a service dog, it can go for free. And, like he can be on my, the plane with me for free. How do I make my dog a service dog? Some lady had told me like a week before in front of Ralph's that, oh my gosh, you can make your dog a service dog on this website, freemypaws.com. That's the website that I use. So I put my dog's information, I don't have, I put my dog's information and um, his birthday, his picture, very cute, and then he mails me a certificate and a, and a ID saying that he's a service dog. So I'm like, oh my gosh, so this is what it takes to be a service dog. Mind you, this is my first dog. I don't know about dogs. In LA, everybody is big about dogs. Like. I've never seen a place or a city that's so concerned about animals. Like, when you go to a store, there's a sign that says, like, you can't come in with a dog. Like, in New York, it's not like that. Like, who would bring a dog to a restaurant? Who would bring a dog to places, a nail spa or, a, like, a hair? It's just, people in LA are very obsessed with their dogs, and I've known that, like, ever since I got my dog on the walk, my dog, oh my god, he's so cute, and they talk in this pet language, and this stuff that I really don't understand, okay? I'm, I'm a parent. I was my first time being a parent. Uh, let me show you my dog. I got him in March. Say hi. Vader, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Isn't he such a look? Like, say hi. Oh my god, say hi. But, anyways, yeah, that's my dog, Vader. But he's a black lab. So, let me continue with the story. I got the ID and the, it's a service dog ID and a certificate in the mail like two days before I was going to New York. So, so, so I was like, okay, my dog is a service dog so like, I can find my dog now and my sister wanted to see my dog as a puppy, you know? And I'm like, she's not coming to LA anytime soon. So let me just, you know, surprise her. My mom is so scared of dogs. My mom is so scared of dogs. But I was like, you know what, let me just take my dog to New York and while I'm doing business, they could just watch my dog and spend time with my dog. So tell me why I get to the airport, let me see a dog. They saw all the certificates and whatever. It was, how much is it? It was free. I'm like, oh my god, this is like what it takes. Like, oh my god, I, I've been hearing stories about dogs on a plane. So I'm like, okay. The lady saw the certificate. She saw the dog. Checked him, ready to go. So my biggest fear is like, what if my dog shits on the plane because he's still a puppy and he's not like trained yet. So it was like, oh my, I was so scared he was gonna shit on the plane. I was like, please do not. I was like trying to make him shit before. Please just don't poop on the plane. Just please do not poop on the plane. Like that's what I was just like praying to God for. Get on the plane, and the person that's sitting next to me is Anthony. So I'm like, you know what? I'm good. Like I don't know how the person would have been if I had my dog with me, like under them. But Anthony was next to me, so Anthony was like cool with it because he knows my dog. He's still a puppy, but like when I first got him, all he did was sleep. Like so I was not worried. He doesn't bark. He doesn't do anything. And he's a cute dog. So like, why not? You feel me? We're on the plane. We're on the plane, and I'm like, I feel it. I'm like, my dog has to go. I'm like, please just hold it, please just hold it. This was like two hours into the flight. I'm like, just hold it. Like, I'm shaking him, like, I'm rocking him like a little baby, you know, do what I can so he can't shit on the plane. I sleep and I wake up and the flight attendant taps on me. She's like, your dog's throwing up, your dog's throwing up. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, like, what happened? She's like, is it his first time flying? I was like, yeah. She's like, that's why you give him Benadryl. I'm like, what? Isn't that for humans? I'm so sorry. I will not drug my dog. For the, I'm sorry. He can shit all he wants. I'm not about to drug my dog. Like, how am I going to give a dog? A Benadryl, human medicine. How about if I gave you dog medicine? How would you feel if I gave you dog medicine? Like, you feel me? So, okay, so I put that in consideration and then I was like, if you feel like that's the case, then give me Benadryl. She's like, I can't because I'll get fired, I'll get sued. I was like, okay, understandable. So then what, what are you telling me this for? I mean, if you can't help me, why would you bring it up? Get him Benadryl. Like, I'm in the middle of the air. Do you got Benadryl? How am I going to get Benadryl, you know? But anyways, that's what she said. So I was like, okay, my dog is throwing up. And I'm like, where's the throw up? He was, he was about to. 
What? How you woke me up from my sleep time? My dog was about to throw. How did you know he was about to throw? I don't. My dog looked perfectly fine to me. So after that, I just got up. People looking at me like, oh my god, he has a dog. But it was a cute dog. So okay, so that's what happened. And I just fell asleep. And then I woke back up. And I was like, let me watch some movies because I just feel like my dog really has to take a shit. Like I know he has to take a shit. And I'm. So, I don't. I'm like, if he pees, I'm fine. Like peeing, what? How can you tell speed? It's probably water. Tell me why. Five hours into the flight, like let's go. One more hour. One more hour to go. I wake up, I'm like, I smell shit, and I'm like, oh my god, I smell, I just smell the poop, I really do smell the poop, and I'm like, <gasps> he just, I pick it up as soon as I can, and then like, everybody knew, it. like, it's just, it was just so embarrassing, I never felt so embarrassed, people would just look at me with filth, they were just so disgusted, I really felt, I felt so disgusted, I've never felt, I've never felt like that in my life before. Like, damn, my dog just had to, he had to go. I'm sorry. Like, if you had to go, I mean, you would go to the bathroom. But he did go to the bathroom, just wasn't at the bathroom place, you know. I'm proud of my dog anyways because we only have 30 minutes left, you know. He could have, he could have went to the bathroom 30 minutes in the flight. You guys had to sit in for five hours and 30 more minutes, like, you know. So that happened, and I cleaned it up immediately. And they gave me stuff to clean the plane. But tell me this. The stuff they gave me to clean the, the plane, well, after I was done, after my dog did what he did, the plane was smelling better than how it was when we first got there, so y'all should all thank me. Like, the plane was smelling like flowers, roses, it, daffodils, whatever. It was smelling like strawberries. It was smelling good. So after that, I guess she's like the HBIC of the, the air hostess. She confronts me. She's like, oh, um, may I please see your service dog papers? I'm like, yeah, sure. Let me get them for you. I get them for I give it to her, mute her. And then she gives it back to me, and she's like, I'm gonna have to hold on to this. I'm like, why? She's like, because I need to hold on to this. I'm like, okay, first of all, calm your voice down. Thank you. And second of all, let me know why. You just not can't just take my paper. She's like, you'll know when we get off the flight. How come I get off the flight? And there's like six cops. I'm like, okay, what's this for? They said, arrest him. Arrest who? I'm like, sorry, I need to tell me what you arrest me for. They said, it's fraud. My dog is not a service dog. That service dogs don't go on the bathroom of planes, that's why they're service dogs, they're trained. I said, so service dogs mean your dog is trained? I'm sorry, like, I did not know. I really did not know. I really did not. I, like, I mean, come on. I tried to arrest me, so I had to, like, put them in a place, right? So they're coming at me. I'm like, she said I printed this from online. I'm like, okay, so check the numbers. Check the serial number. She was like, I printed it, and I made it myself, it's fake. She checked the number, and she was, it was a real certificate, a real ID, it was real everything. It was real, so... <laughs> How do you feel? Her Reba looking self. She had red hair. She looked just like Reba or Kathy Griffin. She looked like either. She looked like a mix. Raffi. I call her Raffi. Raffi was getting crazy with me. And I was like, first of all, Raffi, you need to really calm down. Because if anything, if you guys are trying to arrest me, I should sue y'all because y'all saw my dog and y'all knew my dog. I mean, they said to be a service dog, you need to be one years old. My dog doesn't look one. A Labrador does not look this small. At, well, he wasn't this, he wasn't like this big. He was like very small, even though it was a month ago. I was like, if anything, I should sue you guys because you guys asked me how old my, my dog was. I said he was a puppy. A puppy meaning he's under one years old. So therefore, I should sue y'all for letting me go on the plane with my dog. How about Raffi? He's like, hmm, um... This must be a misunderstanding because, um, I mean, you probably didn't print it out yourself, but it's against the law to um, fake that your dog is a service dog and it's fraud. I hear her CEO or her boss or whatever say he just didn't want to pay the $125. That's when I really had to come for them. I'm like, first of all, just because I'm black, I don't know if y'all racist, but y'all not about to look at, I was very bummy that day. Like, I was very bummy. I mean, my airport, my airport outfits are really disgusting. They really are. But... You're not about to come and be like, oh, the only reason why I faked my dog was to get my dog off for free. I mean, that's not the main reason. I mean, it was like, dirt. I mean, it was like part of it. But it was like, the reason why I wanted my dog to be, a, like, I put him as a service dog is because I didn't want my dog to go under the plane. My dog cannot go under the plane with cargo. I just felt like he was going to die. Like, he can't do that. I, I'm very, I'm very, I'm sorry. I'm going to bond with my young one, and it cannot happen. So, therefore, I was like, if you really trying to sit here and accuse me saying I can't pay $125, like, you really, you really, you really must not, like, you really must not know. Like, $125, like, come on, you're really not about to say it was because of $125. I'm sorry, I was like, I'm not broke. I'm not broke. Check my references. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say that. I wish I could. 
But I was like, I'm not broke, I'm sorry. You're not about to tell me that the only reason why is because I didn't want to pay $125. I could pay the $125 now. I could pay whatever you want me to pay now. Like, that's not the reason why. I said, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I did from online, if that's the case. If you really feel like this is a fraud thing, go to this website, do what you gotta do, investigate it and report it because you guys can't arrest me. How do like, you check the number, the numbers was real, so what did, Wait, come on. If you should arrest me, then they should arrest you for letting me on the plane. So what are you saying? What do you have to say? So Rafi gets mad, whatever, storms off. And I'm like, okay. They was like, I was like, so they're sitting here telling me podcasts. I cut the cops off and the boss. I said, so by you guys telling me all this, what is this trying to prove? What is the end goal of this conversation? If you guys are not going to arrest me, why am I still here? They said, oh. Yeah, you're right, just don't do it again, whatever. I said, okay, this is a returning flight, so how can my dog come back on the plane if he's not a service dog? They said he needs to go through cargo. I said, okay. I was very sad, I walked away. My dog, like, I, it was his first time flying, so I kid you not, we had to walk to the Ubers, the taxis. Go pick up our bags. Baggage claim, we had to walk to baggage claim. As we were walking to baggage claim, Every step that my dog is taking, he's shitting and peeing at the same time. He is pooping and peeing at the same time. Poop, pee, poop, pee, 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 pee poop, poop, pee, poop, pee, poop. I'm like, oh my god! Like my dog was ready, like it was a trail. And I felt so embarrassed. Like when your dog, like, alright, when your dog, okay, poops in public, it's in public, it's outside. But if he poops in the airplane when people are like walking, it's so embarrassing. Everybody's just looking at me with filth and just. I just did not really like the way I was being looked at and like thank God to these um, people that were on this business trip with me, whatever they helped me, Anthony, Jennifer, Noelia, Noelia, I don't like to butcher people's names, but they really helped me, they went to like, give me napkins and like people would understand that my dog is just a puppy, even he's just a little puppy, I'm like that's right, tell it to Rafi, he's just a little puppy. Let me tell you the story from getting my, my dog back on to cargo. Getting my dog on back to car, like, okay, so June 5th came, my, my New York trip was done, my business thing was done, I had to bring my dog back, okay? Tell me why. I had to buy a cage for $223 from Petco. Okay. That's what I did. I, it hurt me so bad. It really did. My pockets, it really did hurt me. I was like, you know what? It's like having a child. So tell me why I did that. Then I look at the requirements on Delta. It needs to be, it has to have food in it, it has to have water in it, it has to be this temperature, it has to have this many blankets, it has to have this many toys in it. I'm like, see, now you guys are going overboard. So I was like, okay, let me just put water in there for him. Okay, so we get to the airport, and I was like, how much is it to get on the plane? Is it $125, right? He's like, no, let me wait. I have to weigh the, I have to weigh the crate, I have to weigh the dog. Tell me why to get my dog onto this plane back to LA. It was $575. My heart just dropped. I was really like, wow. Like, I can't leave my dog in like New York because I just can't. <sighs> Moral of the story is, I almost got arrested for my dog pooping on the plane. It was crazy. I've never felt so disgusted, never felt so filthy. Like, I'm sorry, this is not an interesting story time. I just had to get it out, I just had to tell it. And it's just, it's just really crazy to me, like, wow. Like, comment, and subscribe. You see me, I'm doing it, you watch. I post, you don't watch. I don't post, so watch. And until whenever, until next week, bye.